In this video, this guy, uh, this minister, I'm not sure who his name is. I've, I have yet to do a little bit of more deeper research on him, but uh, he is calling seven day Adventists weird because they keep the seven day Sabbath. Christian denominations, apart from the weird Seventh day Adventists. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Hmm. Where have I heard this before? I say, well, it's just plain weird. <laughs> These guys are just weird. That's where they are. Not as weird and creepy. Not a super weird idea. Yeah, it's not. I mean, it's quite weird. They're just plain weird. Just plain weird. Just plain weird. That stuff is weird. They come across weird and then they start being weird. Yeah, they're weird. Being a really weird. He's such a weirdo. <laughs> okay, maybe it has nothing to do with this. Okay, we're gonna leave the politics alone, but why is the Seven Day Ministers weird? Because they have a position on the Bible that's different than your position as a denomination. I wonder if anybody else who keep the Sabbath besides Seventh-day Adventists, I wonder if they're all weird also. Because with a great Google search, we have about 460 different, and I think that number is increasing, 60 different groups who actually keep the Seventh-day Sabbath on Saturday, including the Jews. Are they also weird? All Christian denominations, apart from the weird Seventh-day Adventists. Seems to me that some, somebody's very intentional about attacking the Seventh-day Adventist church. I mean, if it's weird to love the Lord and obey his word, well, so be it. Under the new covenant, because of the resurrection, we now rest and worship God on the first day. Now, the problem with this position is just not found anywhere in the Bible. You cannot use any biblical text to confirm as a result of Christ's resurrection, the Sabbath has been transferred to Sunday. And we know the resurrection was a great event. Um, I'm not here trying to lonify that. But it is not a substitution of the Sabbath because Jesus rose on the first day of the week. I will say in the life of Jesus... There were many great things that happened on different days of the week. Um, that doesn't necessarily make those days holy. God only made one holy day. And it goes back to the creation week. So, um, yeah, that's just not a very good argument at all. But the man went on to say that we are, the Christians are uniting on their Sunday. And seven day events are just not falling in line with the tradition of man. This has been one of the rare points of unity in church history and across almost all Christian denominations, apart from the weird Seventh-day Adventists. All Christians, whether you're Catholic, Eastern Orthodox, Protestant, all different types of Protestants, we all gather and worship God on the first day, on Sunday. We're unified in this. <laughs> Well, that's, that seems to be a problem. Uh, we can't unite um, with anything that goes against the word of God. At least when it comes to God's commandments, we cannot compromise. This reminds me of what Jesus says in, in Matthew chapter, I think it's chapter 15, that they were going to reject the commandments of God for human traditions and uh, that's what's happening here. I think that's what's weird, <laughs> if anything. And across almost all Christian denominations, apart from the weird Seventh-day Adventists. These are weird people on the other side. I guess if, if, if it's weird to, to serve the Lord and to love his law and to keep his Sabbath um, and not, do, uh, not disobeying him or putting human tradition above him, well, I think it's a good thing to be weird, <laughs> you know. And when I think about Jesus, for example, uh, th there are many things in the scripture that I would say I would classify as weird if I don't understand it. And if I were in the time of Jesus and I would think like, you know, like when he says, eat my flesh, drink my blood, that's weird. But until you understood the actual context and the Bible study and the lesson that was in it, um, when you look at the way Jesus moved uh, throughout the, the New Testament, you will notice that uh, 
there were certain things that were said that were weird, you know. So even throughout the Bible, there's some things you will say that were weird. Some of the analogies and how certain prophets had to do certain things um, to actually teach a message to Israel to bring a point across according to God's word. Some of it was weird. Like if you look at the the book of Ezekiel, <laughs> what Ezekiel had to do eating feces and walk around naked, lay on one side for for forty something days, and you know. Uh, you will say these things are weird, and I think uh, what you do not understand may seem weird. Uh, that doesn't mean it's not in the Bible. I mean, the Seventh Day Sabbath. There's nothing weird about it, right? Historically speaking, it's not weird. The Jewish people still today uh, keep the Sabbath. Jesus kept the Seventh Day Sabbath. He went to church on the seventh day in Luke four sixteen, and also in Acts thirteen, in Acts seventeen, Acts eighteen. We find that the early apostles and even the Gentiles were keeping the seventh day Sabbath. We find that even after the destruction of Jerusalem, we were told actually before the destruction of Jerusalem, Jesus told them uh, 70 AD, make sure your flight um, be not in the winter, nor on the Sabbath day. <laughs> That's kind of crazy for Jesus to say to a group of people who was going to keep Sunday years uh, down the road, this wasn't the case. And if you go throughout history of the church, there's always been Sabbath-keeping uh, Christians. This was never, uh, I'm not sure if they were weird back then, but <laughs> I think I think what's weird is when we actually depart from the Lord and we, we're keeping human traditions and we're trying to use scripture to balance that even though there's no clear argument. It's clear that this day, Sunday, became the day for the early church to gather together, to worship God, to rest in Him. Um, but he went on to say something that's interesting. Um, he went on to say that even though he's making an argument for Sunday, he's also going to turn around and say, we're not really keeping the Sabbath. We cannot be kept on Sunday, but he's kind of saying we can, we're not even doing it correctly. Which I was, I was thinking, that's... That's a very honest admission. Nominations, apart from the weird Seventh-day Adventists, all Christians, whether you're Catholic, Eastern Orthodox, Protestant, all different types of Protestants, we all gather and worship God on the first day, on Sunday. We're unified in this. And while all of us are unified in what day we are to be worshiping God, very few of us actually observe it. Very few of us actually keep the Sabbath day holy. Wait a minute. Who are you? <laughs> we are family. We are God's children and we may not see things eye to eye. I don't know. I don't wish evil in any man because I think um, it's like brothers attacking brothers at the end of the day. But um, I don't think we are weird because we want to try to serve the Lord and do what he says. And uh, that's not weird at all. <laughs> I would rather leave that discussion in a political circle because um, we are Christians. We love the Lord. We want to obey all his law. And, and Jesus says in the last days, there's going to be a people who will keep God's commandments and have the faith of Jesus. And that if that happens to be us, um, which I sincerely believe with all of our hearts, it is us. Well, it's a blessing to be a weirds for Jesus, right? To be weirdos for Jesus. All Christian denominations, apart from the weird Seventh-day Adventists. Anyway, friends, thank you for listening. Make sure you like and subscribe to the page. Click the bell icon for more. Uh, share your thought and perspective with me as well. I want to hear from you. Let's have the conversation below. Check out our videos. An, an amazing discussion I had with, uh, with uh, Pastor Rickman Jeffrey. Um, it was it was really rich and full of, full of uh, understanding among brethren. I kind of like that format. I would like to do more of this. So I'm going to try to see if I can keep in touch with people. I might need some help and reference points and so on. Anyway, a lot more could be said. All right, friends. Have a good one. God bless you. Bye.